Apple held their Worldwide Developers Conference this week and showcased some new features coming to iPhone with the release of the next iteration of their iOS software. I'm Jessica, and in this video, I'll give you a rundown of the upcoming iOS features you'll actually care about as an average iPhone user. Now let's get started. One big update is that Apple now plans to number iOS versions according to year, so this new upcoming version of iOS will be called iOS 26. Apple is using this naming convention across all of their software moving forward, so you'll be using version 26 across all your Apple devices. iOS 26 is expected to release in beta this summer, with the full public release coming in September alongside the release of the next generation of iPhones. iPhone 11 and newer will be able to update to iOS 26. iOS 26 is bringing us a new design that Apple is calling Liquid Glass, making many menus and other on-screen elements transparent. You can even choose to switch your home screen app icons and widgets to this transparent design, allowing your wallpaper to shine through. Speaking of wallpapers, the Messages app will now allow us to add fun backgrounds to chats, which will be visible to everyone included in that conversation. Group chats are also getting some useful updates, with the addition of a polls feature and a typing indicator within group chats. The Messages app will also be better at filtering out spam messages with the help of Apple Intelligence. Spam messaging will also be screened and filtered in the phone app with a new call screening feature. With this enabled, callers can state their name and reason for calling, and their answer will appear on your screen, allowing you to decide whether to answer or not. The phone app will also be able to detect hold music, and a new feature called Hold Assist can wait on the call for you and let you know when to pick up once a live agent has answered your call. Apple Intelligence will also power a new live translation feature, which can be used on calls, FaceTime, and in messages. On calls, translations will play out loud. On FaceTime, translations can be read on screen while you can still hear the person speaking. And in messages, chats received will be automatically translated into your preferred language, while chats you send can be translated into the preferred language of whoever you're speaking to. For parents, a new addition to parental controls in messages will allow your kids to ask permission to message a new contact. You can review the details and then approve or decline the request to help keep your child safe. In a past iOS update, the Photos app got a major redesign that many iPhone users weren't very happy with. In response to this, Apple has now separated the photo library from collections, making it easier to access your albums and other categories without having to scroll so much. The Camera app is also getting a redesign, with a simple menu to switch between photo and video mode with one tap, and other modes available by scrolling. This looks to be much easier to navigate than the current design, making the two modes we'll use most often more readily available. Apple Wallet is getting some cool new features, including keyless access for several different car brands, plus an expansion of their digital ID system, allowing US citizens to add a digital version of their passport that can be used at participating TSA checkpoints. Some states have also allowed for digital driver's licenses to be added in this way. If you shop online frequently, the new order tracking tool will come in handy. Wallet will find your online orders in your emails and messages, and automatically keep track of your deliveries with tracking information and updates, so you know right away when something is delivered. Last but not least, Apple Intelligence is expanding with a new Visual Intelligence feature. If you see something on your screen that you want to know more about, you can take a screenshot, then use the Ask or Visual Search options at the bottom to ask a question to ChatGPT, or find visual matches to what you've screenshotted. Apple Intelligence can also detect information in a screenshot. So if, for example, you screenshot an event poster, you'll be prompted to add the event to your calendar, and the AI can pull information about the date, time, and location from the screenshot to add to your calendar. All of these features, along with more updates, will be rolling out soon. Once released, we'll be creating tutorials on how to use all these new exciting tools. Let us know in the comments which one you're most excited about. To ensure your iPhone updates to iOS 26 as soon as it's available, check out this tutorial to learn how to enable automatic iOS updates. Click the video on your screen now to watch. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one every day.